each ink has its positives and negatives just like most things in life. The, the costs are different, the performance are different on the press and on the product, the way you handle it varies, the impact on production, the suitability for uh, a given printing environment, the suitability for the end use. No ink is suited to every application. Deciding among ink types, do not confuse cost, price with cost. I tell that to all my clients. My client did not want to invest in a UV because it's expensive. That's a high price. However, he's out of business because it cost him too much to work with water-based ink. See? So if you a careful study, careful consideration if you're an offset operation now or you're a drug your operation and you've come here to, you know, what is this flexo thing? Considering which ink system to use requires careful consideration. Consider all the differences and all the, their corresponding impacts to quality, versatility, ease of use, which is a big one, and, capac and its impact on capacity and productivity, another big one. Give me an example, my client of mine in Lagos, Nigeria. I went there in the early 2000s and they were using solvent-based ink. We had so many challenges, so many challenges. The, it was very, very difficult. Solvent disposal issues, drying too quickly, inadequate drying, all these things. Then I went in uh, mid to late uh, 2000s. At that point, they had water-based ink and UV ink on board. They still had the solvent-based ink in the corner, and that's where they would send the naughty operator to, to get punched, because nobody would want to run that press. <laughs> but, uh, but even the water-based sink was a horror. They had, I remember the, uh, uh, the ink guy and uh, the operator almost coming to blows over the ink. And, uh, but the UV, no problem. The only problem there was they were having curing issues because they were doing lottery ticket printing, well, not lottery scratch card, they were putting multiple layers on top of doing all this stuff, and curing was a challenge. All right? So the solvent-based experience was terrible, the water-based experience was no better, but the UV-based experience was excellent. Besides the cost of the ink, there are operational uh, impacts among the, uh, uh, among the different ink types, but uh, the differences diminish as control is improved, and that's why we're here. I want to, for us to be able to reduce some of those differences because which e whichever ink system we use, we're going to control it well, and some of these issues factor out, okay? So one of the uh, things that um, you can do is, uh, if you're curious, is build what if scenario spreadsheet where the inputs for all variables involved are there and create uh, you know, scenarios and see, do those results concur with your expectations? You might find that one system is better than the other through this analysis. 